Welcome everyone. I'm here once again at Volusia Speedway Park. Volusia Speedway Park on iRacing. Volusia Speedway. Ready to run again in the Fix Setup series. Uh, I'm ashamed of my performance in the Open Setup series because it's uh, stupid mental mistakes that have caused my problems, namely forgetting to load the race setup. I thought I had learned my lesson, then I did it again and uh, lost about 50 more I rating. And I am now looking to make it up. First of all, in the fixed series, and then I'm going to run another race in the open series, and I'm going to keep running the open series until I remember to load my setup. And it is a rookie mistake, but it's and it, it is and it isn't. It's a mental mistake, and it's due to me being so forgetful. I know I have to load a setup that has enough fuel for the race. But why I can't remember that, I don't know. Beginning to get more accustomed to the fix setup. That drives pretty well considering a little zero X there that's all right not a big deal Track's already getting just a little bit slippery. Not terribly bad, just a little bit. high there felt like I might slide into the wall so in lieu of that I lifted okay a number five car here we got about oh only eight cars in this split time to qualify see what I can do if I can lay down a decent lap on the fixed setup tracks a little slickety but not too bad Probably should have ran up high for that first corner. But I'll survive. It'll be all right. Okay, that's over. 
13,944. That's either pretty good or pretty bad. I don't even know which. I can't remember. Well, I guess it's, it's not bad for... I guess the track conditions were pretty good. Elk iRacing Team Live on iRacing. Also on Twitch. As we are. <clears throat> All right, let's see where we ended up. I ended up second. Not sure why the track is so fast. Qualified second in the five car. Really don't need a heat race, but I guess we'll run one. Typically, I racing. Uh, it's going to default to a couple of heat races, which will mean four cars in each heat. Not a, I don't know. actually could run one heat. I've seen them, seen that happen too. They run all the cars in one heat, and then everybody just goes on and runs the feature from there. We will see what happens. Okay, looks like we're all going to line up for this heat. No fuel to fool with, so not a chance of making a mistake in that department this time. <clears throat> and let's hope I don't find some way to mess something else up. Mess up something else. making a lot of mental mistakes uh, really the car and the driver is good enough to have some decent finishes in this series i had one earlier in the fixed race a fourth and uh should be doing better in the open series all but and i continue to kick myself for that the mistakes of uh, the setups not changing out the setups and running out of fuel in the feature just one time I, I laughed the second time I didn't laugh I just wondered what's wrong with my mind this time it looks like we're gonna tuck right in behind the pace car if I stay with the leader Pace truck, whatever that thing is. The official pace truck, I racing. All right, I'm gonna stay, try to stay here beside the leader somewhere. Wait for him to fire. One left to green. One to green. Green, stay focused. 
This is the heat race, so it's just eight laps. Got to hang on right here. Third is fine. If I can hold on to that, that'll be fine. Car wanted to go low, so I just went with it. Almost got past for third, that's all right. I just I didn't want to go low. I don't know why the car just turned down low. Came off of that little berm up there entering turn three and it pushed me down and I don't really want to run down there. It's a little bit too slick at this point. Car now on the inside, trying to get to the inside. It's not really making it work but I'm gonna give him plenty of room if he's if he can make it happen more power to him just looking for a clean and decent finish just a little bit loose there Probably better than being too tight. And there's the checkered flag. Chicken flag, chicken flag. <clears throat> chicken flag, chicken flag, as I like to say. Uh, what did I get? Third? I don't even know. Yes. Third, we're ready to go to the feature. No setup to change. It's there in the back of my mind. I hope it's there when I run the open race, the open setup race. You'll be lining up on the here in a little line. short Keep while. Right. Right now. Dylan Shreves on the pole. Aaron Christians. Second row is yours truly and Melvin Purcelli. Third row, Matthew Shell, Joe Garcia. Further backs, Colton Hegeman. Hegeman. Hegeman, Hegeman, Hegeman. Here on the inside, where it's a little bit slicky, slick, slick, slickety slick. So I'm going to, I'm going to be taking it a little bit easy on the start. I'm not going to poke around. I'm just going to be kind of careful on uh, turns one and two because the bottom's going to be a little bit slick. Play follow the leader, follow second, follow fourth or whoever I get behind and hang in and try not to uh, get all sideways in the turn. And hope I don't get rear-ended. I don't want to lift off too, mu too much. Entering the turn or exiting the turn. The case may be. Get ready. Going green. Watch the leader here and see what he does. Ready to take off. Okay, there we go. I think I got room to get to the top. Where I really would rather be. A little slick. You guys are going to the bottom. And I'm up too high. Gonna let this car go. If he can make it stick down there on the bottom, it's awfully slippery. Uh, 
going to lift up and let him have it. Not going to push the issue. I'm stay with him and see if I can. This is fine, fourth place. I'm not. I don't have a problem with that at all. Wowzer, the leader just did some uh, prediction code, just gymnastics in that sprint car. That car was flying all over the place. Interesting. All right, I'm pretty comfortable in fourth. A fifth is a ways back. Uh, pretty much sticking with third for the moment, going away a little bit. <clears throat> Still got a lot of phlegm. I don't know why that is, but anyway, third place continues to pull away just a little. Uh, probably need to try to Try to run a little better line if, if I can. Uh, way too high there. Going to lift off and correct all that so I don't hit the fence. Now losing ground to third. Car wants to turn hard left in the entry to turn three. Got to be due to what the placement on the track. I don't know. Hitting a little berm up on the top there, a little slick spot. That's actually ran higher than I wanted to, but that actually probably was a little better. Try to keep that going. Run up high here. And it looks like I might be gaining a little ground now. Caution is out. Ace trucks up here in turn two. Urselli made a good move and got around me. Was able to, he was able to make it stick on the inside long enough to, to make the pass. At this point in the race, I don't know if he could do that or anybody else could. Track is slicked off quite a bit. We're working lap 14 and we'll probably go to 15 and halfway almost halfway when we get take the green flag to the green restart up here in the moisture see some of the guys really pull down the track and Get in the slick. I don't. I really. I don't understand it. Maybe there's something I'm missing. One left to green. On the starts, sometimes you'll see the guys just turn down into the slick, and I just feel much more comfortable staying up in the moisture. Where there's a little bit of grip. If I get past on the inside, then I get past on the inside. Really, not supposed to pass on the inside before the start finish line. I don't know. All of that is working very well on dirt, but I'm just going to stay right up here in some moisture with the right sides at least. <clears throat> and the leader's taking off, so let's go. Leader got a good jump. Nothing wrong with that. That's the privilege of the leader. He starts when... Uh, when the system allows it, and when he can. 
That's part of being the leader. Really slicked off here. Pretty much. Three and four is tricky. One and two is tricky. One and two is a little easier than three and four. See the leader running way up high, and unless that's a prediction code thing. I kind of like that high line way up there by the, not too close to the fence, but up here where the loose dirt, the marbles or whatever you want to call it, are. There seems to be a little more grip and the car seems to handle better in that line. A lot of slick, slick surface below that. That felt nice and smooth. Like Ten laps to go, trying to stay really smooth here. Stay on this high line. Urselli uh, up in front of me is running the low line now. Uh, he must be finding something down there he's maintaining. I just can't bring myself to get back down there. It's so slick. And the high side is beginning to slick off too, so. Got a guy behind me who's opting for the low line. And he may try to make a pass. If he does, more power to him. I wish him luck and maybe he can get around. And I'm going to stick with the high line and where the moisture is at the moment. There is moisture down very low. If you can run that, you can maybe make some progress. But looks like most of us are sticking pretty much to the high side. Wheeling the car now so much that I don't want to use the tear off auto tear off did it for me thank goodness and running a little high coming out of four that time it was a little better I don't want to smack that wall coming out of four that would be detrimental to my finish as I'm running fourth Two more, keep it nice and smooth, nice and smooth, two to go, one to go this time, nice and smooth, I have about five laps of fuel left, there'd be plenty. And there we go, checkered flag and the fourth place finish again. Fourth in this race, fourth in the previous fixed race that I ran. Good race, clean race, one caution I believe. Head into the pits, get off the track so I don't get ransacked. Go back and take a look at any incidents we may have. There's the eight car on lap 13. This may be the caution we had, yes. And that was near the middle of the race, so. Gonna be the caution we had. And the eight car again. I believe that's the leader in car number one. Smacked the wall a little bit and that's it, folks. Eight there, having a, a tough time of it. Justin Keller, not a good deal for him at all. <clears throat> so there you go with that, and we'll take a look at the a quick look at the uh,
at the UI and at the the uh, the results. Here's the race I just ran. I gained 21 on I rating. 0.12 on safety rating. It's outstanding. Must have had zero incidents. Where was I in fourth? Zero incidents. The only incidents were out apparently of the winner in car number one and in the, uh, of course, the eight car who crashed. So everyone else was 100% clean. Excellent safety rating gain. Moderate a low I rating game, but at least it is a game. Well, that wraps that up in uh, just a few minutes, probably about 30 minutes, I think. We've got the 360. Uh, 360 sprints. Open at 1030, a little over 30 minutes. So I'll be looking to run that race and looking to change setups during that race. While I'm here, I'll look at the, uh, the race earlier in which I did not change setups. Wasn't last, only next to last. Uh, looks like I completed about 10 laps. Lost 48i rating and lost some safety rating. 2x. That was a single split. So nothing too surprising about that. Okay. I appreciate anyone who might be watching. Sincerely do. Live on Twitch and also going to upload the video to YouTube, of course, here in a while. Won't be able to get to it until after the next race. And then I'll have a few races to upload on the YouTube. I'll get those uploaded. YouTube dot com slash at osrms what i'm going to do here just to let you know is i'm going to make some pages on my osracing.net website that redirect to all of my youtube twitch kick probably even facebook like i do with the discord this is a redirect to, to discord to a discord invite and I'll make pages on the site that's redirect to those pages so that it'll be easy to find. It'll be osracing.net slash YouTube, osracing.net slash Twitch, osracing.net slash Kick, like that. So if you want to join me there, you can, uh, you can do so quite easily by following those links. <clears throat> or typing that into your browser. Once again, appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to cut out and take a little break, grab a little lay down, and uh, watch uh, watch an old western or something for a few minutes, and come back for the the open setup race in the 360 sprint cars. In the meantime, if you do any i racing, you enjoy it. Uh, it's fun. Just don't forget to change setups if you're in an open setup series where it's necessary, like the 360 sprints. Keep that in your mind. Change the setup. And I'll try to keep it in my mind. I'll see you in a little while. Thanks again.